Yeah. We've learned that our borders are in fact wide open, that, that the operational control has really be, been garnered by the cartels among the large areas of our southwest border. We've learned yeah. that drugs are pouring in, killing Americans. We've learned that the threats that come across our southwest border don't stay there. It's why we keep saying every state is a border state. And what Jason and Texas DPS crew illustrated today, is it really goes to the heart of that truth. But something you and I personally, we've talked about a, a lot, is the God away. Yeah. And you mentioned it. Right now under this administration, another record shattered 800,000 known Godaways. You add in what we don't know, it's well over a million. Think about that. And why does that matter? Why are they running? Why are they using techniques like putting a carpet on their, their shoes to evade apprehension? Because the truth is, among them are some very bad people, murderers, rapists, pedophiles, and gang members. Let me give you a stat real quick to show that. So far, under this administration, they've apprehended about 100 murderers and thousands of sexual predators and gang members. Just think about how many are among the 800,000 that evaded apprehension and they've made their way to every state in this country. Think there's any chance in 24, optimistically, we get a Republican back in the White House that the, the talk of a wall comes back? Absolutely. I mean, I, they, they, they made a lot of progress. They did. I, I, I felt proud and yeah. I was privileged to be a part of that. We built 465 miles yeah. under the Trump administration. How much more do they need? Uh, a, a few more hundred miles and key strategic locations. Would, would do a lot of work. That would, would do, do, a, lot would do work. a lot of help. Yeah. Uh, and what I would say, though, is, is those resources are needed, including the wall. But what, what's just as important is a policy shift. So you, you, you have to have the resources, but you also have the policies that allows the men and women on the front lines that Jason's described to actually do their, board, do their job to secure the border and protect Americans.